the key thing for treating patients with a high FSH and the diminution of van reserve is not the using too much medication because this is against the common uh, philosophy because uh, in the conventional IVF setting and the doctors, uh, when they have a patient have a poor van reserve, high FSH level or have very low AMH level, so the doctor tends to give them more medication and intend to produce more follicle, but the results are very poor. And uh, for those patients, and uh, because they are baseline FSH are already very high, so if you give more medication, then make them FSH level even go higher. With the high level FSH level, and all the receptor for FSH level uh, will be diminished. And uh, so this follicle will not grow very well. So those patients, why they f this is why they fail the conventional IVF. But the for key thing for treating this high FSH level patient and diminished of a reserve patient is not to use medication or use a minimum dose medication because those patients already have a high FSH level. So we even sometimes we use medication to reduce your, her FSH level. So if that case, and the follicle will grow very well. Just to give you one simple example, we have a patient who failed eight cycles conventional IVF with a severe endometriosis and her FSH level at a 38 and on day two, and the FSH level at the 70 on day six. And this patient, and we're using uh, estrogen and to reduce her uh, FSH level. And eventually this patient, we develop a follicle and we were able to collect an egg, make embryo, and we transfer the embryo results to live birth. And in the history, no one else and with conventional IVF can be successful in this case. But she was successful by natural cycle IVF.